Hi guys and welcome. If you're looking for build a stunning landing page and do it fast, really easy and without an extra efforts, definitely you need to try to build it on the platforms that allows you to do that. But how to choose the correct one? That's a big question. Uh, our team tested a lot of platforms that allows you to build your website or landing page and we found a great solution for you. And today in this video, I want to provide you with a step by step tutorial of how to build your own landing page using this fantastic and very powerful tool. Uh, so before I've started to show you step by step things of how you can make that happen, I want to say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video. And if you want to use the same platform as we do, definitely you need to try to uh, find that link in our description panel and get access to this platform with a big discount from our team to all our friends and subscribers. Uh, so I'll try to make this video as short as possible and with a maximum value for you. So jump in and let's start. I'm not wasting your time. That's how dashboard is looks. Uh, so you need to press, press the create new landing page here and you'll see the bunch of templates that already pre-built for any type of your uh, needs and there's page type list, there's industry list, and you can be uh, as specific as possible in this spot to find the correct template and to save time of editing. For example, I want to uh, I want to show you all the editing features. And uh, in that case, you will have an idea of how to build it by yourself. First of all, you need to give your page a name. And after that, you're gonna be on the editor. So let's see what's happening here. We have uh, we have a simple layout straight out here and we have a couple buttons undo, redo, preview all the templates that you can use here and all the site, even if you build it from scratch, are absolutely mobile friendly and it's adoptable for any platform. So let's jump to buttons layout. You have the sections here, uh, which are built uh, in this layout. Sections is a pre-built uh, sections that you can use to add to your layout or you can use a blank section. You can choose it or you can just drag and drop it to all this blue button, uh, blue boxes. And that's pretty simple and easy just to show you. Widgets. Actually, any uh, any landing page contains couple elements: text, images, videos, and interactive elements uh, like buttons and forms uh, to to make contact with your audience, with your visitors. So it's all drag and drop. For example, I want the video to be here. I want an image and text block to be here. Now I want a little bit space in this spot and I want to put it here. Uh, I want the button to be here uh, and tags here. One image, other text and that's pretty it. You see all these blue vertical lines and you can reshape it by grabbing it and moving it around. So the small video, big picture, big video, small picture, or you can delete all those. But I want to show you one more thing. When you're pressing this three dots button, you can add its section settings. You can add section buffer below straight from here. You can duplicate it, copy or delete. Let's go to edit section settings. You see the minimum height and it can be automatic or you can make this you can make this block bigger if you want, for example. Uh, maybe you need to check like this blank section style. You see row one and there's a column. Yeah, this one column is not necessary for now. So we just deleting it. And you see the elements are reshaped by itself section style maybe a little bit bigger that's pretty it if you want to apply a background you can use a color for it 
or you can add a new color definitely uh, it's easy and very very convenient way to build your page in the shape as you want you see that's that's pretty easy styles here in the styles you can change the fonts uh, for entire page if you have couple blocks uh, like five or six and in each block you have the heading and you have the text the small one you can change the color and the font for entire page just in couple clicks from here countdown font we don't have actually the countdown you can change the page background uh, and you can change the page background color or you can apply an image and in that case you will have opportunity to get uh, the parallax effect with okay i'm just gonna show you that uh, what's happening with the pictures you can uh, use the pictures that you uploaded previously for other projects you can buy pictures from the platform and it's great stock pictures with a high quality or you can upload any picture that you want straight from here okay just for example this beauty is out there and you see this parallax effect she stays there and all the all the elements are gliding over the background okay i showed you that that's pretty pretty easy uh, let's change the picture for this section you jump in edit section settings and you see this picture and we're gonna apply this beautiful girl here you see it like suits personal uh, brand building guide 12 simple steps and you see those vertical lines as i showed you you can reshape things in the order that you want and that's pretty great and that's pretty cool if you want to see where is this element you go into layout you go into uh, this row one row two and here you go in this row you have column and second column and if you jump into this gear button you see the background color here and we can change it for other one maybe it can be some kind of that brown yeah we have the red hat girl and it suits right now uh, with all the color palette and that's pretty easy just gonna delete all those elements that we don't need the layout of any landing page can be simple like first block is personal uh, like hero or enter or you're presenting your business with some value straight from here after you can apply some about uh, section or you can apply a video for that and in the header uh, you can you can add header uh, footer you can add a footer for example and here in the footer you can uh, add some text uh, and input your Mm, your text uh, with your address with your social media addresses and so on and so on just to keep in touch with your clients if they don't want to uh, press the button uh, but they want to call you straight for example all the things with the text happening pretty similar to any uh, text editing um, tool just all the features are pretty here you can change the font uh, the type of the text to jumbo headline one two three and normal text mm, you can change it straight from here the font uh, you can change the size you can make it bigger with the spacing bold italic and so on center and left hand and color and and so on yeah th those are simple elements that you will handle for sure you see all those are pretty uh, pretty easy 
And the most important part is the buttons and forms because that's the way how your visitors interact with your uh, landing page and how they will uh, leave um, contact information because main purpose of any landing page is to bring some value to your visitor for exchange uh, to contact information, email, first name, phone number, for example. So you need to edit the click event for each button that you have on your uh, layout. You see there's a list of options, calendar pop-up, jump to page section, link to landing page to an external page, but in most cases is the pop-up and we're gonna add it the pop-up. I don't like the color here. I'm going to section settings and section style color. I want it to be this color. But the main thing is integrations. When you press in this integrations, you have integrations, fields and actions. How are you going to get new leads? Uh, you can get lead notifications straight to your email or you can add an integration and you can integrate the external service of email marketing as you see here in the list, like MailChimp, ConvertKit. All those are pretty fantastic tools. And if you have an account for any of them, you can uh, integrate it with your landing page or you can integrate things with a zapier and you also see the list of options and you just need to consider that to find out what is best for you and for your business the second field is actually the second button is a field you can add a field as i told you i want the first name for example uh first name and email right now it's email and first name we just click in that arrow button and we reorder this things maybe we need the phone number also uh, and first name phone number and email or we can delete elements that we don't need and actions what's gonna happen when somebody will uh, actually fulfill the oh, phone number I'm gonna delete the phone number I don't need it at a field first name done first name and email what's gonna happen when somebody will fulfill all those fields and um, press the button so you can apply default lead pages thank you page you can make landing page external and extra landing page with uh, you can build it like thank you so much that you shared your information with us we are gonna keep it a safe external page maybe if you are selling something you can uh, make up sales or cross sales and remain on page and you can add a lead magnet if like where should i send you a guide if you have some guide pdf file you can add this lead magnet to this field and your uh, visitor when he gonna press uh, or she gonna press the button they will get um, actual file that you promised and this is very very easy way to interact with your uh, audience and to grow your email list okay uh, I will show you the settings more SEO that's definitely very important information and you need to fulfill all those like SEO page title and page description and page keywords uh, because you definitely need um, you the search engine machines to see your site uh, social if you want to share your link to some uh, Facebook or Pinterest or other social media platform you need to apply um, you need to upload the picture here that will see maybe it's gonna be uh, extra picture separate picture for um, for your brand or with a logo or some commercial picture and so on and analytics if you have Google Analytics tracking ID you need to pass it here and uh, Facebook pixel also you can apply here so that's pretty it guys we spent not so much time to to build a beautiful and standing landing page it's not complete of course you can add more information you can play around with all those blocks and sections like for centuries but the main purpose of this video to show you that this is simple and easy to uh, 
to build your own landing page and it takes not so much time as you probably thought about that. I hope this all makes sense. I hope this all uh, useful for you and you get some value from this video. I appreciate uh, and want to remind you one more time that our team left the link in the description panel of this video and if you want to build your own landing page and if you want to make it with a big discount, use that link that we left um, and save some money while you building your own brand, while you building your own business and I wish you good profits. So thank you one more time and see you in the next video. Bye bye.